the reigning defensive rookie of the year, everything is a challenge, an opportunity. This is not a game of anger. Oh, your joint stuck again? How are they fishing? Or can't have too much emotion? Oh, no, I think it's a rock. <laughs> I'm determined to get me a fish. His competitive spirit drives his hunger to lead and shoulder the responsibility of resurrecting his hometown team. Most franchises, the face of the franchise is a quarterback. In Washington, you are the face. Do you love being that guy? What I will do is I will come to work every day. I leave from the front. You know, if guys follow, then come on. Beyond the shadows of FedEx Field is where Young's story begins. All right, so growing up, FedEx Field was how far away from your house? FedEx was about 20, 25 minutes. What word was synonymous with Washington back in the day? Um, you know, it, it, people said a lot of things about Washington. Like what? Uh, you, know, you know, people said they was terrible. They had good players, great players, um, but it just never clicked. They just never had the, the best reputation. While Chase watched his favorite team struggle for years, it was obvious to his family that the game came naturally. When he was six and he was on that first football team and he was quarterback and he had to learn 21 plays and the team was nine and 10 year olds. That's something to be six and be the quarterback to, you know, a team that old. Once he got to high school, they played a team called Archbishop Carroll, and this is how Chase got to be a DN. Nobody knows this. Chase was playing linebacker, and they ran an offense called a wing T, mm -hmm. and Chase could not find the guy with the ball. He just kept running past the guy, couldn't tackle him. So a friend of mine who coached him, he said, look, I can't take him out of the game. What do I do with him? Mm -hmm. I said, put him at DN. And that's, that's how it all started. His present day skill is rooted in a devotion to discipline. For Young, loyalty, leadership, and accountability make up the fabric of his family. You know, my dad, he was a, uh, he was a, he was a cop. My uncle was a cop. Uh, my dad's brother, he worked on uh, DC Capitol Hill. So how did that upbringing in law enforcement shape the Chase Young that's sitting in front of me right now? Oh, yeah, my dad, he was strict. Growing up, you know, uh, if I would jump off sides, you know, I'd be crying, and, you know, he'd just be on me. I wanted earrings when I was young. I couldn't get them. I wanted tattoos. You know, I couldn't get them till, but till college. I wanted a phone. I didn't get a phone till my ninth grade in high school. My video game during the week, only the weekends. But you know, I wouldn't be the player I am right now if I didn't have them. To bring the best out of somebody, sometimes you gotta get put in a harsh environment. He put me in an environment where it's every little mistake mattered. What was the method behind that method? Um, perfection. You have to raise the alpha male. You see that, that, that one thing in that kid, and then you have to nourish it. Chase to left of the pocket, sacked at the four yard line. It's Chase Young again. Young excelled at Ohio State, where he was a first team All American and a Heisman Trophy finalist. Entering the NFL, he made sure to treat every opportunity like a job interview. You know, I can remember the first time I met him. You know, I'm at the Combine in Indianapolis. He had a interview set up with us. So I thought to myself, you know what, I bet he's early. So I went out into the hall and lo and behold, there he was. He was like 15 minutes early. What values connect the two of you? His family approach. I mean, just as you, as you listen to him talk about those things and talk about his parents, you could feel it. You feel the connection he has with the family. And so that to me really told me right off the bat that he loves being part of a team. But you're getting a guy who can be a Hall of Fame type player. When you draft guys in the top 10, they have to be worthy of wearing a gold jacket. And this young man, Chase Young, he definitely is. Washington drafted the hometown kid number two overall in 2020. The pass rusher and his head coach quickly built a bond. Every day in practice, we used to walk down to the field together. And uh, we would talk about Luke Keekley, his rookie year. He didn't buy any TVs in his house because he watched too much film. NFL Rookie of the Year, and I told him, you know, I'm going to be your next one. He said, I believe you. I believe you. At first, the Washington faithful reveled in the arrival of the local kid. 
Cooper Young's first NFL season didn't start according to plan. Some in the local media questioned whether he was worth such a high pick. I just told um, my manager, I just said, you know, I ain't gonna say too much, just watch what I do. And at what point did you feel like I'm 100% last year? You know, that game week 10, uh, everybody know the Joe Burrow hit. That's the game where, you know, I started to feel uh, real well, I can move. Um, and I feel like from week 10 on, that, that was my biggest splash. The rookie earned the title of team captain and led Washington to the NFC East title in its first playoff appearance since 2015. It was never really to prove to the critics, but it was really for myself. I couldn't let our people down for real, but just being that player our team needed, just so, uh, you know, everybody knew that we made the right choice. The defensive end, nicknamed the Predator, spent his offseason focused on finding new ways to dominate on the field. But Young knows the chase to greatness comes with the added responsibility of resurrecting a franchise. When I got into the game, it was just about me playing football and uh, just making plays so my mother can yell from the sidelines. But now, it's way bigger than myself. Um, it's a whole community. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.